Hello again, Year 3, and welcome back to our next science lesson, um, where we're going to continue our learning on the Nappy Challenge unit. Um, as always, we're going to start with some recap questions to recap on this unit and some of those previous units too. So, first question, what does translucent mean? If something is translucent, what does that mean? I'll give you a clue, it relates to objects and light. Question two, a sedimentary igneous or metamorphic rock is made from broken pieces of other rock. And question three, why are nappies useful? Why are they useful? As always, feel free to pause the video there, have a go at those questions, and we'll come back together in just a moment. So let's have a look at those questions together. What does translucent mean? Translucent means it lets, it's an object that lets some of the light through. Um, they're often, trying to find one around me, things like water bottles where you can see through, but your um, vision is altered slightly because the light, not all of the light travels through the bottle. Um, so it is an object where some of the light travels through the bottle. Um, question two, a sedimentary igneous or metamorphic rock is made from broken pieces of other rock. That is sedimentary rock is made from broken pieces of other rock. And that is the kind of rock um, that forms layers over um, maybe dead animals or plants and can eventually create fossils. And why are nappies useful? Nappies are useful because they absorb urine and feces and they prevent things getting a little bit messy. Um, and they can be particularly useful because you don't necessarily have to reuse them, you can throw them away once they are done. Uh, and that's what we're going to be thinking about today is the pros and cons, that means the positives and the negatives of disposable nappies. So today we're going to continue using external sources of evidence. Um, but today I'm going to provide that information to you and you're going to use that information and you're going to sort that information. Um, and so there will be an element of looking for patterns, identifying and classifying. So we're going to be sorting different things. As a starter, linking into this lesson, why are disposable nappies bad? So we thought of lots of reasons why they're good last lesson, but why are they bad? Take a few moments now, maybe have a quick think, maybe jot down some ideas. Can you list as many reasons as possible why they are bad? Once you're ready, you can come back and we'll carry on with the lesson. Let's move on then. Um, perhaps you thought of a few reasons. Um, something that uh, we've already touched one is the fact that we throw them away every time we use them. And we've got to consider what happens to them every time we throw them away. And that's what we're gonna um, look at today. So I've got a nappy fact for you. About 8 million disposable nappies are thrown away each day in the UK. 8 million every day. And that's just in the UK. That's not across the world. That's just in the United Kingdom. I've got some big maths for some of you to try to work out then. Um, and I think the first two would definitely be able to have a go at. The third one might be a bit too tricky. But let's look at them. If that's 8 million a day, how many would that be each week? And that'd be 8 million times 7. And then how much would that be each month? So let's assume there's 30 days in an average month. 8 million times 30. Give you a clue. 8 times 3 is going to help you with that one. The last one, I'd be super impressed if anyone can work this one out. How many would that be each year? Which would be 8 million times 365. And that produces an incredibly large number. Um, so let's look at each of those. How many would that be each week? It would be 56 million. 8 million times seven would be, well, eight times seven is 56. So 8 million times seven is 56 million. Quite a lot of nappies each week that are being disposed of. How many would that be each month? Eight times three is 24. So eight times 30 is 240. That's 240 million nappies being thrown away each month. Now this is the bit that's really mind boggling. How many would that be each year? Eight million times 365, which is a number that I had to double check how to say it. Two billion, 920 million nappies being thrown away each year. So as you can see, that's quite a problem. There's a lot of nappies being thrown away. Um, where do they all go? That's what we're gonna consider. So what do you think? What happens to those disposable nappies? 
after they've been used. Where are they going to go? What's going to happen to them? All those millions and billions of nappies. What are we going to do with them? Well, the vast majority of nappies are not recyclable, so they can't be recycled and must be thrown away with general waste. This means they will probably end up in a landfill or being burned. As most disposable nappies contain plastic, they take a very long time to break down. So when you throw away a nappy, it doesn't break down over a few years. It takes approximately 500 years before that's fully decomposed, before that's fully broken down. Um, they can be burned, but if they are burned, this produces greenhouse gases which are damaging to the environment. So we've got two options there, which neither of which is very good. They can go into landfill, but as you can imagine, if we have millions of nappies, if not billions of nappies, and they all take 500 years approximately to decompose, that's going to be a lot of nappies. And if they are burned, that's not much better because it produces dangerous greenhouse gases which can affect the environment. So that leads us on to the question, should we use disposable nappies? What do you think? Are the benefits that they're convenient, that they're easy, um, that they help keep us clean, are they good enough benefits to outweigh those negative reasons with disposing of those nappies? Have a think. What's your opinion? There's not a right or wrong answer, um, but that's your opinion. Well, to help you with that, your challenge today is going to be sorting um, different statements about nappies into pros and cons. Remember, a pro is a good thing, a positive, a con is a bad thing, a negative. I've got the statements here um, and I've got an example here. Um, I'm not going to read them all to you, but let me read the two that I've sorted so far. So this one, you can throw disposable nappies away so there is no mess or smells. I put that in the pros column, a positive. It's great that we can throw them away, which means there's no mess and no smells. That's definitely a good thing. But a con that I chose was babies will wear about 5,000 nappies. All of these go into the bin and then into landfill. So that's a bad thing because they go into the bin, they're not recycled, um, they're just waste. Um, so that's not particularly good, is it? There is a challenge X if you want to have a go at that. Do you think we should use um, disposable nappies? Do you think we should use disposable nappies? Just before we um, finish for today, I'm going to quickly share with you the sheet, the recording frame that I have created for this lesson. So I've got those same statements. I've put them onto a Word document. I've created a table for you that you can um, type those answers into. Obviously, if you prefer to do it by hand, you can do so, but those may um, still be useful for you. Thank you for joining today, year three, and I look forward to seeing your views about those nappies, particularly looking forward to seeing if anyone has a go at that challenge X. Thanks for joining. See you next time.